going to show you something just a bit exciting in this um, video. Uh, the fact is that the Quilling Guild has just endorsed a new technique, um, which is very interesting and unusual. Um, lots of new things come up in quilling all the, all the time, but whenever they have in the past, um, it's always been a variation of something that we already seen. A, a technique that we already know. But when I started to study this technique, I realised that it was a new thing all on its own. Um, so I took it to the experts in the Quilling Guild and they endorsed it um, and said it was definitely a, a new technique. Now, um, I, I found it first on an antique, which um, helps enormously um, to endorse any new technique. This is the uh, photo of the antique and it was given to me by somebody in the guild many 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 years ago. By now, we, by the time you're watching this, we may know who that lovely lady was who gave me this, um, but at the moment it's under investigation. Um, and she gave me it because I was interested in the fringe flowers you can see the fringe flowers are obvious in here. You don't often see fringe flowers in uh, antiques. Um, but just recently, for some reason, I noticed these other little flowers hiding in the background here, 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 there, um, and in various other places. And I realised that this technique was... Um, something that's been around in the quilling world, I've used it myself a little bit, um, but I've never taken it seriously really because I wasn't sure it was um, a, an actual quilling technique. Finding it um, on this photograph um, means that um, it's much more legitimate. So I started to do it and also to um, experiment with it because that's what I love to do. Um, and I realised that basically it's something that in the past I've called um, pixie hood technique. I've called it other things actually. Um, but I like to call things by a very descriptive name so that people are not in any doubt about um, what the technique is. So I'm doing this backwards um, but so that you can see it. But anyway, and I'm also using very wide strips, but you can do it with different width strips. Basically, it's extremely simple. You bring the two ends of a strip together and you cross them over and pull them tight and then you have a tight pixie hood. Um, perfectly, it should have no, no hole at the back or as little as possible. Um, your tight pixie hood looks like this. Um, and uh, you can use it exactly like that. You would obviously put glue in here. Um, and then you'd have your, your, your standard tight pixie hood. If you imagine, if I made five of those, um, then I could make this pretty flower. Um, I could put other things at the centre, but obviously it's five tight pixie hood loops. Um, if I looked at the other side of that and used the other side, you can see it makes... Uh, Five of them make a sort of star. Um, the reverse side of pixie hood looping is always interesting. So um, the other side is, a, is of great interest. Um, here I've used it with three millimeter strips, made lots of them, put them together, used them also for the center. Um, and um, then I've used the reverse side. So this is pretty much this, except that this one is the reverse side, which is in fact the side that shows on the antique, I think. Um, and it gives a whole different effect and a very, um, a very nice effect. Um, so these are, are made three millimeter. Um, and the simplest variation of this is to make your loop not tight. So, and in fact, that's even easier. So instead of pulling it to a point, all I would do would be to put it at an angle like this. Um, and the more you um, turn, the wider the loop becomes and the more you can use it 
various different uh, ways. Again, you can use it on the back or the front, you get a different effect. So this is the, the, the simplest um, variation you can do. I think you can see on this one, I've, I've done exactly that. These are loose pixie hood loops. Um, I used two colours so that you could get a better effect with two pinks. Um, and done loose ones for each of these. And um, tight ones out of 5mm for the leaves. And uh, pom pom turned upside down for the centre of each of, of the flowers. Which is um, also very, very attractive. Um, you can make them extremely tiny. You can make them very big. Um, so, you know, the, the, the number of variations is astounding, really. Um, as you've already seen, I have done lots and lots of, um, of variations on it. Um, and if you want to know more about the, well, about 20 variations that I've done, um, you can look at my own blog for, um, for that information. Um, yeah, I hope you'll have a go at it and you'll enjoy it. Um, lots of happy quilling ahead for you, I hope.